Right, so we've looked at graphs and how to use them very basically. Now let's have a look at how we might generate something like that ourselves or at least have a look at some of the data in Classroom Monitor. So go to your Attainment and Progress and choose Pupil Tracking. about your antivirus. Oh, there we go, sorry about that. Okay, now then, this is where it looks much more complicated than it actually is. Um, first of all, you need to start up here, look, choose pupils, subjects and time frame, right, so click on that and choose the pupils you want to have a look at, all right. So let's have a look at, you want this academic year, click on the cohort button, choose do you want to look at key stage year group or whatever you want to look at for now we're going to look at year group and we'll stick with the year five theme so you click on year five okay so we've chosen to look at year five if you wanted to you could click in there and choose another year group as well if you wanted to but we won't we'll stick with year five we want all SEM provision here we want all of the SAN types. We want, you can see we're trying to we're choosing everything, all three school meals, all genders. If you just wanted to look at, say, I don't know, um, you just wanted to look at boys, then you click on male. Okay. If not, you want to look at all. You keep all. If you just wanted to look at three school meals, for instance, in your class, then you would select that. Um, if you just wanted to look at school action plus or action early years or whatever you could do if not if you leave it blank it selects all then you've got to update your list very important because at the moment there are no names in the list here so update our list if you try to use the whole school up here that's a lot of data I've had a problem with that over the past couple of weeks so beware okay you might have to wait a little while if you choose the whole school but here we go, we've got the information we need. Then you might want to choose, well you do need to choose your subjects. Right now we're using APP generally across the school. So click on APP and then choose, what do you want? Reading, and writing, and maths. So let's just leave it at reading for the minute. Then it says select time frame. Now at the moment, look, it says we want to know what's happening now. So you can click that, you don't need to do anything else. You can see it's ghosted out down here on January 13, because that's now. You could choose this term for this year, terms from this year, or you could choose from below. And if you choose from below, you could choose, say, now. And you could choose, say, at the end of July last year. And this would give you an indication of the progress that they've made. When you've done that, you can generate your table. And what's going to happen is we're going to get a table and if you see these things here, teacher assessment, summative assessment, attendance, groups, gender, ethnicity and so on, those are the elements that the table will show. At the moment we've only selected teacher assessment, look, so it will only show your teacher assessment and it will show um, their July teacher assessment and their January teacher assessment and then you'll be able to see the progress that they've made. Okay, and down here it will show you what their average progress is and what your general kind of level is in your classroom if you want. You can if you want to change these um, judgments here from within this window. Beware if you do that you're turning off your automatic leveling. So you could change it here if you wanted to, you don't have to. I don't know why you want to. You can also look at people's attendance you can also put gender in there. So there are things here that you've not been able to do before, particularly the attendance, which would be useful. I won't click it because this is a, you know, um, it's a slightly sensitive information there, possibly. Morgan's on show at the moment. And likewise there. But if we said gender, I don't think that's too sensitive. If you click on gender, do you see over here it's starting to flash generate table? Generate your table again. And this time, 
when it throws out all this data, it will put in whether they're a boy or a girl, male or female. So we'll just wait for that. Now that's not tremendously useful as it is at the moment here on the screen, but if you had attendance in there, then that might be interesting to you. Do you see what I mean? Now then, what's missing here are the targets that the children are working towards. If you go up to this select target, click on it, there's only one set of targets in, which is for the end of this year. Click on that, wait for it to finish processing. And what you'll be met with is again something that looks fairly complicated but it's not as complicated as it looks. There we go. Now, so here you've got a column, just all to do with reading still, to do with July 2012, that's probably better. You've got a young lady here who was a 3A+, plus, needs to be a 4B by the time she finishes. At the moment she's at 4C+, plus, uh, sorry, at the moment she's at 3A+, plus, she should be a 4C+, plus, so she's behind the curve, and that's what this is showing here. So that's something for us to be concerned about, and we should see some sort of amendment to her, her teaching and learning to help her get back on track. All right? And again, if you scroll down the screen, you can see very quickly, it's colour-coded. You can see the people who we would be concerned about falling behind their curve. All right? um, there's been a lot of fiddling about with this, and a lot of playing to get this to work properly. Notice anything, or if you're not sure about anything, then please let me know. According to the experts, if they're within one point of their projected target level here, it will show yellow. If they're above that, it's green, and if they're below it, it's red. Now, then, something extra whilst we're here. This is all very interesting and very useful. We can turn this into a graph something worth looking at as a graph, something like we looked at earlier on in most of the previous video. Up here you can see pupil and table. If you change it from looking at pupil level, click on it so that it changes to group. And rather than look at a table, click on it, we look at a graph, <coughs> excuse me, which hopefully it will do. Your time plus your monitor. Time well, plus your monitor, you can do it. Great, there we go. Group and graph. So this is telling you it's not a bar chart when I thought that it would be. <laughs> However, it is telling you what's happening in reading in year five. And again, we'd be interested in these, wouldn't we? So you click on that, it should tell you who it is to be concerned about and what you're doing in the classroom. And if you wanted to, you could save that then as a favourite, Year 5 reading, save as a favourite, and it will then appear in your favourites on the home page, which is here. Right, what do you want, Troy?